Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk The Walking Dead Q&A 86. Let's jump right into these questions, but if you're new here, you can find the rules to participate down in that video description. One thing though, it's very important to put Q&A first thing in your comment. That way when I'm scrolling down, I can flag the questions and we're good to go. Let's jump in here. Bella M. Hey Ronnie, what do you think Negan, or how do you think Negan will act or be around Judith? I don't know, but I think this is pretty cool because Judith died early on in the comic book, so I'm excited to see her and Negan interact. Slight genius. In the comic, Negan comes in. Wait, why does he? In the comic, Negan comes in and he hands his bat to Rick. But he doesn't do it for any reason, just, uh, maybe to rub it in his face and be a dick. I think he does that because he does it in the sanctuary where he lives to one of his own workers. Okay, so he hands the bat in the comic for like no real reason. In the show, he should hand Lucille, his barbed wire baseball bat, to Rick to pick up Judith. Fuck yeah. I think that would be cool. I just got super hyped because it's, I don't know, why does that seem cool to me? That seems cool. Let's do that. Yeah, because I think in a comic, correct me if I'm wrong, comic readers, but I think he hands the bat to Rick for no good reason other than to be a dick. <laughs> Moving on. Lucky, will you ever collab with Trev's Chan 2 for a big Walking Dead discussion slash podcast? Are you fucking nuts, that clown? The fuck is wrong with you? Hold on. What has he got? 200,000 subscribers? What do we got? We're... we're Catching up to 80,000 subscribers? We're coming for you, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I'll, I'll collab. Uh, absolutely. Also, I do have one kind of rule, you know, and I don't want to be a dick about it, but I've, I've gotten a handful of people asking if they want to collab, but they have never made a YouTube video before. They've never made a The Walking Dead discussion video before. That's one thing I won't do, and I feel like a dick saying that, but I want to put it out there because I'll do it if people are trying. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you got a thousand subs, 10,000 subs, or 10 million subs. If I see that you're doing them and you're having fun and that's what you want to do, last thing I want to do is take time out because the hardest part about collabing is finding the time, right? We're all busy. And the last thing I want to do is go through all that trouble, get it done, and get a video up. And then this person a month later is like, nah, I'm bored of this. You know what I'm saying? They're like, I don't want to do it anymore. I just don't want to do that. So, I don't, yeah, I don't care if it's Trez Chans or whoever else out there that is Meg Stansfield. Uh, who else is doing videos? You name it. As long as they're doing videos and they love it, yeah, I'll collab. Absolutely. SSTB, if Glenn is not the one getting Lucille, what do you think he will do for the rest of his lifespan on the series? Will he get a ple completely... Ri Listen, I think if you just look at The Walking Dead, you'll answer your own question because look at Carol. Carol dies early on in the comic book compared to the show, and what did they do with her? They, give, they gave her original story. They gave her some of other comic book char character storylines like... Uh, in season five, she got a little piece of comic book Glenn's storyline. So they'll do the same thing they've always been doing, remixing it between original and remixed with comic storylines of other characters. Saint Dank. Do you think it would have been better to have Rick charge at Negan saying he can't kill whoever he is going to kill and shut him down by Negan rather than Glenn? No, because I think Rick knew. Rick knew it was over. You know, Glenn is the hopeful one. It fit. You know what I mean? Rick knew. Game over, man. Brian Sepania. I hope I got that right. Do you think Carl might get a death if Chandler gets too old or maybe even goes off to college in real life? If he goes off to college in real life, he's a schmuck. You know, you're getting rich now. College, you can educate yourself anywhere. No, I don't think so. The damage is done in my eyes as far as Carl is concerned, as far as the actor growing up. Marathon The Walking Dead and you tell me the damage isn't done. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He grew fast. Sensi Josh, what kind of character development do you think Tara will have in season seven? Oh, I think that's one character who's going to be crushed, and she might actually use that um, as a fuel, you know what I mean, to fight Negan later on in a way similar to Comic Holly. Com um, comic book readers will know what I'm talking about. Noah Tall, do you think that Dwight will encourage Negan to take Daryl as a prisoner? You know, it could go either way. I don't know. I mean, why would he encourage him? I think Dwight's pretty much there to, you know, do as Negan says. So, either way for me. 
Assassin Monkey. When do you think Ezekiel will die in the shell? Who the hell knows? I'm not even thinking about that until, you know, let's see Ezekiel first, to be honest, because we haven't even seen him yet. We don't know what direction they're going to take his story. Harold Louder. Do you think they'll recast Heath? No, I think they'll just kill him. Not sure why, though. I know he got a different role on uh, 24 or something like that, but I think they'll just kill him. Awesome Tacular Games. Who do you think will take Holly's Terra? Absolutely. Monster Gaming 202. Do you think that we could ever get a fast walker like Z Nation? Hell no, not in The Walking Dead. Real talk or walk. Do you think saviors still attack Alexandria while Negan's bashing brains like in the comics? Even though we didn't see it happen in the comics, do you think it'll actually happen in the premiere with Gabriel defending the walls? I don't think they need to do that. In the comic book, it wasn't structured that way. Negan says on the show, you know, this is career day. We did all this to show you guys what you're dealing with. And it was smart because now, you know, they're not going to have to put the, sa the survivors in check again. Or at least that's what Negan's thinking. You know, Negan's like, I showed you our muscle. You're never going to want to try to cross us again. Are you kidding me? In the comic book, it was, def it was definitely different because they had one group that was at Alexandria with Dwight. And also, them attacking led to Dwight being caught, which led to, you know, where his storyline went. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't see any sense to the saviors attacking Alexandria unless... It was just part of the plan to show Rick. We blocked all the roads, we trapped you, we lined you up, and we also had a little, you know, f I don't want to say fake attack, but surface attack where all we did was shoot at your wall, we scared your people, and then we left. I don't believe it needs to be all crazy. Um, in the comic book, it wasn't even that crazy either. You know, they lost easily. The saviors did. So the attack right now, to me, they could skip it. It just doesn't make sense unless we see them doing, like I said, Negan makes sure they knows. They can hit them anywhere, all at once, you know? Natty Wilson. Hey, Ronnie. Love the channel, man. Thank you. Was just wondering, what do you think will start Season 7 out by Saviors? Point of view leading up to Rick and gang being caught, like capturing Eugene, and then Negan in the RV. You know, I still, I want to see Negan in the RV, but I tell you what, I think they could definitely do a savior point of view, absolutely. I think you got to be careful, though, because now you're going to take the story and have pieces that we saw. So now you're going to have to go, okay, this is what happened. Stop, skip a chunk of time because we saw Negan come out. We saw Negan talk to him. So I'm really curious to see how they're going to blend that without being too repetitive. Because this wasn't Negan coming out being like, hi, I'm Negan. I'm going to kill one of you any, mini money mo. There was a 10-minute discussion. You know what I mean? So are they going to show a chunk, skip a chunk, and then get on with the killing? Or are they going to remix it? I personally think... Like I've been saying before, we will see the scene differently, the Inny Mini Money Mo scene. I'm sticking with Gimple saying it's impressionistic, meaning we're going to see it play out slightly different. But yes, they could show us some of the buildup from the Savior's perspective. I don't think we necessarily need that, but they could. Antonia Wolf, hey Ronnie, in the books, they did not went into too much detail about the Saviors. Do you think they would elaborate the backstory more on TV since... We were introduced to some of their stories. Whew, shit. You know what? They'll flesh out who the saviors are, I believe, you know? But I don't think they're going to go into some crazy extended backstory for the saviors. Exton Roasting. Do you think the actors watch them right after they finish or wait until the premiere? I'm not sure what you mean. Do you think the scenes, they film multiple, multiple, multiple takes, and then even after that, they're only filming a few minutes at a time. So maybe they'll say, hey, that was a good take. This was cool. Come look at this. They'll bring the actors over. They'll show them on the monitor like, oh my God, look at that blow up. Look how cool that was. You know, he shot the rocket, whatever. They'll show them little scenes like that. But it's not till way later where they take all the scenes, they get them into the editor, and then you got to edit them all together. You know what I mean? Because they're only looking at little clips. Then there's what sound they got to add. Then there's special effects, the visuals with computer. So there's a ton of shit going on, and I'm sure they see uh, early premieres of it. Maybe they have a party where they come in and it's all done and it's the cast and crew, a small group, and maybe they get to watch one or two episodes. And then there's probably some of them that wait until it airs on TV. That's absolutely possible. But 
It's more complicated than simply filming and watching immediately, you know what I mean? Squiddy Daddy, what Negan scene slash quote are you looking forward to the most? Ooh, you know what? That's difficult. I'd probably have to say when Rick Grimes approaches Negan at the sanctuary, all the best quotes are filled with F-bombs. So I'm sad now. And yes, there's a difference. <laughs> uh, Chubb008. Hey, Ronnie. Didn't it look like Maggie was sick, possibly due to the baby dying? Maggie is sick, especially with fever, so... If so, will this push her over the edge and thrust her into a leader role? Um, as far as being sick, I'm not sure where you're going with that. I'm saying yes because she's going to be there, in my opinion, to get better with the doctor. Hamas Gentile. Do you believe in the theory that Carol will become Alpha? Hell, hell no. <laughs> Noah Anderson. Will Rick, Daryl, Michonne get their weapons back? Sure. Richard Lucas Slusher. Do you think season seven will show us Negan's backstory now that Here's Negan is made? No. Ellie's U2 Gaming. Why 2 Gaming? Wow, I screwed that up. Keep it moving. Do you think Morgan will have a key role with the kingdom like Michonne does in the comics? Yeah, I think Morgan and Carol might actually share some type of connection since they're the first ones going. It's either one of them or both, I feel. Ball so hard. Didn't Deanna say they exiled a couple Alexandrians? Am I missing this, or did they miss the story opportunity with the wolves? Yes, they did, and no, they did not miss any story opportunity with the wolves, because think about how much of a plot hole that would be. You kick people out, they form this group, or they get with this group named the wolves, and they never attack the area they were kicked out of, even though they know it's loaded with supplies. You know, it has stuff that they would want, even if they wanted to take over the community to have the community. That is a huge plot hole, and I'm glad they didn't mesh that, those stories together. Yes, they did exile a couple people, but if you watch the behind the scenes when Maggie and Aaron were in the sewers in season six, they wanted originally to have those people, the people that were exiled, they had. They wanted to do a whole backstory where they were exiled and they tried sneaking in, sneaking back in. They died. That's who was in the sewers. They decided to cut that. Those people, in my opinion, are the people that were exiled um, because originally that's what they were going to do. There's not enough time. They cut it. Now, could they go back and create some other people and say, okay, those, yeah, sure. But in my opinion, they were willing to go so far as to make them it. And uh, I'm calling them it. <laughs> They're dead in the sewer. Walking Dead Vlogger. Will Negan find Eugene's blueprint? No, I don't believe so. A7X Sullivan. Do you think they should do Here Comes Negan the same way they did Flight 462? Hells no. Hells no. I hated the way they broke up Flight 462. Hamato Yoshi. Will we ever see snow in The Walking Dead? Sadly, no. Never. <laughs> Andrew Spencer. Ronnie, do you think we will see any whispers early on the show like they did with the Saviors? I'm not talking about straight up seeing Alpha or Beta before the new beginning, but I just mean like maybe one or two whispers blended in with the herd of walkers or have a few characters run into some and a scuffle during All Out War or before that. Good question. I definitely understand the people who would be excited to see some hint of it, but we have to be very careful because there's a time skip and... Holding that reveal is such an important aspect of the story because one of the most exciting things, remember when we were reading the comic back then and everyone started going nuts about talking zombies and what is it? And there was so many people, even though we knew Kirkman said before they'll never do talking zombies in The Walking Dead, you know, everyone was going crazy with ideas. How exciting it was to find out it's people living among the, among the walkers. Now listen, us hardcore fans discussing it and talking about it, yes, it's not going to shock us because we know it's coming. We read the comic book but watching them bring it to life on screen, oh my god, it's probably one of the most exciting parts in all of The Walking Dead that I am most excited for. Excited for. I cannot wait. I mean, I can wait because I don't want to rush through anything, but I, I am just... I, all I want is for them to get to the Whisper story arc and I'll be a happy fan. That's it. You know, make it there before the show goes off the air. And I think they could definitely do it. But no, I do not believe, and I love putting pieces of story in early because again, it shows that even way, way back, you know, you're focusing on mel uh, blending this story and building this story together. I don't want them to do that though because I don't want them to, you know, uh, show their hand too early, so to speak. You know what I mean? I don't want them to reveal anything too early. And I think 
anything at this point along the lines of that is just too early because if they're at all anywhere close to them now we have to wonder well why aren't you running into them during the time skip i mean we still have those issues a little bit in the comic but again because we didn't see any sign of the whispers before we first ran into them we can look past it because we can assume they migrated because we know they were in a territory at least for the two characters who we first ran into them uh, they were in the area that was new territory what they said they've never been that far out before so it's believable but if we take away that aspect and show pieces of them too soon i think we just um we spoiled it you know we got too excited we rushed it so i would have to say no no whispers too soon <laughs> thanks for your questions listen give me your thoughts and opinions about everything we just talked about don't forget to ask your questions for the next q a down in that comment box i'm done talking so it's your turn Subscribe now.